Quite interesting uh, things that I can make use of is using what I call a magnifier. So you can see the magnifying glass gliding over the image. Again, for any for any special effect, you don't you only do it periodically. Sorry. So you only do it periodically, not all the time. Oops, sorry. Maybe I'm gonna have to use step back a bit just to make sure it's it's showing the magnifying glass gliding over the image. here I want to see the action again I'm making use of the one that it's the slide will come in from one side and go out to the other side to, sh to show you the movement so why don't I just show you the effect you can see so you can see it's coming from one side and then going out the other side to see action. And talk, let me talk about this slide here. I, uh, if you can see the color, up there is pink, a lot of pink, and down there, down below is the white. So I want to use this particular style to enhance the color of the dancers. And then, if you look at the transition, I use this, which is yellow, which will show up in the next slide because it has a lot of yellow color in the dress. And then, this slide here is the green, because the falling slide, you have a lot of green in the, in the dancer's dress. So I make use of this for transitions to group them together so you can see the effect. So let me go back to this one and then so to show you how I make use of the different transitions, similar transition to group them together. Like the yellow is coming up of the dress here. And the green is coming up to the next screen. Now this why I like it because it's doing a ribbon dance. And again, I want to show there's action by panning the picture to one side so you can see the movement of the ribbon. Okay, so I also make use of the transition which is a star shape uh, spanning out to see the next, to show the, that the next slide, this goddess have a thousand hands. So the star in a way is accentuate that effect. Okay, for this slide here, again, 
you see that the lady, this dancer, she has, she's wearing something which is very meticulous and it's very interesting. So again, I want to highlight that by choosing this style. Let me go back one, one side and then when it goes to the next side, you can see the details. So you can see the details. Again, you can see the volume is... I am turning down the volume to show there's a transition in the next, in the next one. Starting a new section, which are the uh, Indian dancer. And, and then, uh, for this one, you can see the Soji screen, which I want to highlight it by using this transition, which makes the Soji screen come down in cascade, in cascade mode. Again, this slide here shows the movement by spreading left and right. Okay, so the next two slides are the Korean drummer. So I want to see the action by doing the shake again. Use the effect called shake, and then you can see, you can feel it. Hopefully, you can feel it. Okay, so again, because the falling slide is the is a little boy leaping over the fire. I want to see that he is really coming out of the picture by using this transition. So when when this coming down. You can see it as if the boy is jumping up. Again, the next section is about the, t the Tibetan. So that's why I changed the music from this music to the next music and then you can see you can see the transition and feel the transition. So for for the Tibetan transition, I use the same mode, but they're coming out from different corners. So there is the relationship because 
he's using the move the different curl corner as transition. a bit about this one because I want to make sure this slide go down while the lent the Chinese lantern is going up as if it is launching as if it's like a rocket launching up. So it's pushing up and then the next slide, I want to move it to the right so you can see the smoke as if they are rising. The last screen, actually, usually I reserve it for credits. So if you can see the credits uh, for this event, we have Canada Council for the Art, and then Can Canadian Heritage Government of Canada. Next, uh, I give credit to uh, Justin Point, and then Stephen Seal, and our CCPST president Edward, and then Mr. Kam Tiu, myself, and then Gene King for the music selection, and then last two is is Lian, who is not here today, and also Kate. All right. So this is usually the credit is appear in the last slide, All right? So um, again, usually a slideshow is very uh, powerful, especially for events like wedding, because in the wedding, if if just showing the picture, people don't feel the effect. Whereas, if you put it into a slideshow with music and everything and section and divide into different sections, people will really appreciate it. Okay, that's all for my presentation.